Marcus Freeman, head coach at Notre Dame. My name is Dan Quinn. I discovered cold fusion, stevia splitting water into a natural gasoline that can power engines whose exhaust can be turned into the fountain of youth if you remove all of the floating toxic soap at the end of the blend. And I've discovered the fountain of orgasm for women, pressing down on a woman's belly, below her belly button, on her right side, against the inside fingers that are up to the bottom of the G-spot, and massaging, touching tips, fingertips, and massaging in a violin action, plus clitoral stimulation, will take even rape victims that can't orgasm to over 100 in an hour. And I've put a hex on Notre Dame. Marcus, you'll never win another national championship until the hex is taken off because in 1987, I made the greatest stop in the history of Notre Dame football. See Dan Quinn's Notre Dame play where I catch a tailback diving for a touchdown on fourth and inches. It's a spectacular Lawrence Taylor type play and Lou Holtz fires me for it immediately from the second team to the fourth even though I should have been starting. Yeah, Dave Butler, who was starting in front of me, brought a case of beer and a fifth of Jack to apologize for playing ahead of me before the season started. Anyhow, I get fired for making the greatest stop in history in the football. My name isn't even mentioned by the commentators. And in 1988, I get kicked out of Notre Dame for an attempted rape that never happened, Marcus. The year before, I had been suspended for two semesters for defending myself and bitch slapping a girl that attacked me. And in 1988, in 1988, I was expelled for an attempted rape that never happened, brother. I was in a room with a girl for about three to four minutes and there was a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Dan, Dan, are you in there? It was God looking out for me, Marcus. It was a priest of the hall looking to talk to me about being in the dog book, I think. Anyways, their testimony was that my stereo was playing so loud that Patsy McGowan's, or, yeah, Patsy McGowan's cries for help couldn't be heard. And it turned out that the priest's testimony was that he listened and it was silent. And it turns out that she was the younger sister of the roommate of the girl that I bitch slapped the year before in defense when she attacked me. So anyhow, Notre Dame didn't do the right thing, didn't settle the lawsuit with me or my lawsuit with them when their attorneys advised them to settle within the first $20,000 spent from my family on my behalf. I would have been a millionaire back then. I would have wasted it all. I would have bought Porsches, Flash, nothing worthwhile. Back then I thought it was a football god. I was a football god. But I thought that regular people didn't matter, that they were basically slaves and servants. So what I'm saying, Marcus, is have one of your students, one of your football players that's taking a science class have their professor blend stevia in water and validate that stevia splits water into a natural gas called split H2O. They can actually make the engines to run off that and see it cycle back into water underneath a huge layer of soap. Know that getting all that soap out in the past, I've actually increased the molecular weight of water in a 3.5 ounce glass of water or bottled water by three grams getting the uh, lighter toxic soap out because the hydrogen was heavier anyways that's science stuff getting all that soap out of water cured my uncle of six cancerous breast tumors in four months knocked off 74 pounds of flabby fat in four months and type 2 diabetes was gone within two weeks bottled that up and sell it and I'm the richest man on the planet, and I'm forever disparaging Notre Dame for being an icky university, having priests and brothers stalking you when you're in the showers. Brother Touch wanted to hug everybody on campus. 
I'll do my best to ruin recruiting after I want to know about prize unless somebody at Notre Dame helps me get my discovery famous and you could be a catalyst in making that happen.